Hello and welcome to JN Aquarium. Today's video, we're going to talk about lots and lots of tips to help you make your first clownfish purchase a successful one. Stay tuned. First, we're going to talk about how many clownfish should you get, and if you're buying a pair, what kind of pairs are available. Many people don't even think about getting a single clownfish, but a single clownfish can live very, very happily in your aquarium. But if it's a pair you're after, there are a few things I feel I should let you know about purchasing and shopping for pairs of clownfish. There are three different variations you could go with this route. You could buy fish that are just called a pair, and as you see, they're just swimming around in a big group. This is not a true pair. This is the most economical route to go, but it does not guarantee that you will have a pair that gets along and bonds well together. Assuming both fish are very young, they will both likely be males. As one turns to a female, they'll either accept each other as a pair, or they will fight and the female will win. If you catch the fight in time, you do have the option to remove one of the fish, but if you don't catch it in time, one of the fish could perish. If you're purchasing young fish like the ones you see here, this is your best size and chance to create a bonded pair. The next type of pair we're going to talk about is a bonded pair. A bonded pair is two clownfish that have been together over a period of time, which could be several months, and one has changed to a female, one has stayed male, and they are getting along just fine. Bonded pairs are generally considerably more money, but you do not have to take the risk of trying to create a bonded pair. These are all bonded pairs that you see here. The next type of pair we're going to talk about is a breeding pair. Now in order to sell a breeding pair, you should have some type of proof that they are a breeding pair who lay eggs. If the person trying to sell you a breeding pair does not have any proof, I would just consider the fish a bonded pair. Breeding pairs come at a considerable price compared with bonded pairs or individuals put together as pairs. The pair you see here would be considered a breeding pair with this video evidence. Remember to ask your local fish retailer if the fish he is selling are locally raised or imported. Locally raised fish are generally much, much healthier due to not being stressed out from being shipped. Also, there is generally a lower risk of bad internal parasites. When you're looking at purchasing your new clownfish, have a look at its belly, see if its belly is sunk in, its gills, make sure they're not out wide open, and have a look for fin rot. They should be swimming around unlabored and generally happy to see you. There are tons and tons and tons of different types of clownfish. Also, laris, pergolas, and maroons are some of the more popular, but there are many, many types and designs in between as well. Basically, don't get caught up in the hype. Get what you like. If you like the look of a clownfish, that's what you should get if you can afford it. Prices range from $20 to up to $2,500. Clownfish don't require a lot of space. An Evo tank like this is absolutely perfect for a pair. Anything 10 gallons and up, offer them some space, uh, a hiding spot to make them feel secure. But the most important thing is clean water. I hope I've given you some tips to make your first clownfish purchase just a little bit easier. If you found this video helpful, drop it a like, maybe subscribe. And if you're getting some new clownfish, 
good luck. I wish you the very best and hope you have much, much success with them. Till next time, happy fish keeping, everybody. Bye for now.